everyone, it's Carly. You saw the title of this video, you know what we're doing. Let's just get right into it. Now, I did a video like this before with the truth about going to Firefly Music Festival, and a lot of people seem to enjoy it, seeing how it's one of my most viewed videos. So here I am with another one, but with a uh, school related, specifically Flagler College. So I'm actually a junior transfer, so I've been here for one semester so far, and I kinda already get a feel for the campus and the school and the people it was really easy to catch up on so the first thing about the dorming so if you are a freshman female you are going to be in ponts and i never had an experience in ponts so i don't really know exactly what it's like it seems relatively nice because you're living directly on campus like i live on campus but i'm kind of a walk away for Ponce, you don't have to walk away. Neither do you have to do that for Lewis, which is the male dorm. Ponce seems really cool because each dorm room is not shaped as the one next to it or the one above it or below it. The school actually used to be a hotel, so each room is different because the designer for it wanted the guests to have a new experience every time they come back. I think that's really cool. So you can have a fireplace in it, you can have multiple roommates not just one other one but going more into what i know which is the off campus on campus residence hall for co-ed a lot of people make it look like it's a bad thing because it's a walk away but in my eyes the walk it's not that bad it's like you're fine i can do it within seven minutes someone can do it in 15 it just depends on the pace of your walk it's fine if you have headphones and you're listening to music or you have a friend to walk with it goes by really quick if you haven't seen it already i have a dorm room tour if you want to go check that out i can link it in the description below so you can really see the space that i'm talking about but the space that really shocked me was the closet space because i'm not kidding i brought my entire closet from home not just like season stuff i brought each season i have my summer clothes and my winter clothes and i still have about half of a clothing rod space now the food aspect for the school is kind of maybe a hit or miss especially with d hall i don't eat meat so i don't really have my own opinion on what the meat in d hall is like but a lot of people have told me that it's a little dry and i can kind of see that because all of their other food is typically dry i usually just go for the pizza they do have a vegetarian station but with that it's usually spicy food and listen i'm white i am full-blown caucasian i am whole milk i'm not two percent milk i'm full whole milk and if no one else wants to admit it i'll admit it i can't handle spicy that much it burns my tongue i don't like it but flagler has this cool thing where you have your id card and on it you have a declining balance that you can use in the bistro which has starbucks boar's head and chick-fil-a and then a bunch of small like snacks that you can find at convenience stores the starbucks is also really really cheap whenever i go i always get a venti iced tea and it's less than three dollars and they also have the pod which is in the comments so with that each semester you have 150 dollars put in it and then you can use that however many times you want and you can even add more money in it later on or if you want to use your meal plan but you don't feel like walking over to dining hall in the pod in the comments they have a little section where you can get a sandwich bag of chips and a drink you can only do it once per day but i've been using it a lot recently and i think it's really convenient so i don't have to walk over to dining hall now the campus on its own is unbelievably pretty my friend has told me before when i sent her a picture of it she legit thought that i was going to a castle in spain for school and honestly, I don't deny that because it has Spanish architecture. So it's super pretty. You don't have a bad picture anywhere on this campus. And each building is all right there. It's really small. So you don't have to walk a lot between each class. There's also a campus pool, which is really nice because why not? And they have a bunch of palm trees up next to the pool. So you always see people on their hammocks on it. Now the location is a good and a bad thing. There are a lot of tourists that come and specifically they can come in the outside of the campus and inside the 
main area of ponds, but only outside of dining hall. So they can't go inside dining hall and they can't go inside the residence areas of it. I would be completely fine with it other than the fact that they're always in the way when I'm trying to go to class because there is a fountain on the outside in the front of the college and they're always trying to get their pictures there and I'm like listen I just have to go to class you're I'm right there you're in the way can you please move another downside to the location is the flooding that happens because it's northern Florida you're going to have a lot of rain and with a lot of rain you're gonna have a lot of flooding but the location overall is actually really nice because there are beaches that are just around I think they're not even like 20 minutes away, so that's really cool. There's also a lot of stores that are walking distance from the campus, so that's really nice. If you ever wanna to go to a nice restaurant or go shopping for a little bit. And on the street, people always, always, always have their dogs. So that is top notch why you go. Now, I can't speak for all of the classes. I can only speak for theater art major classes because those are the only ones that I'm taking because I already have all my gen eds done. But from what I know in my classes and what my friends say in their classes, that they're super small since it's a small campus. People of this college, I think this is one of the most important because these are the ones that you have to deal with on the daily basis and they can either make your college time really really fun or you want to drop out and just i don't know go to vegas and get a job there good luck i can say with my classmates and other students i have never had an interaction with someone that made me want to wear my hair out so that's a plus now for the professors i only know the theater art major professors but i do know that they keep the class super fun and interesting and they're always willing to help you at any time that you want at a, at a reasonable time don't try to c contact them at like two in the morning now transportation is when it gets a little ooh, so parking can be an issue now there is a parking garage that is usually never at full capacity but that is at fec so that's the walk away but again it's fine. Also, the security shuttle, it runs from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. More times than not, every time I call, I either miss it or it just takes way too long to get there. So in order to get a shuttle, you have to call the security and be like, hey, can I get a shuttle from Ponce to the Lewis Auditorium? And if you are not there in five seconds after they hang up, you missed it. Or they can take so long to get there that you just are like, you know what, I'm just gonna walk. Now the activities for this school are super fun and really different from anything that I've heard about any other college. I think the big one is Harry Potter week during one of the weeks in November because we are so compared with Harry Potter because of the way that we look, we look like Hogwarts, and even our logo is like a flipped Gryffindor symbol. So I think it's really cool. And they do a bunch of activities. They make the school look like Hogwarts in the dining hall. Another one that they do, the week before finals in each semester, they have a thing called de-stress day, where you just do a bunch of games and they bring dogs. And it's just a way to relax and just calm your nerves and your mind before you start your finals. So I think that's really interesting, especially the dogs, because dogs. Another one, I believe that they do this once each semester but it's called midnight breath checks so basically at midnight you can go to the dining hall and you can have food and have fun now this school has something called co-curricular events i don't know if other schools have it but basically it's a requirement to go to school activities at least 20 times during your time here so that's basically five events each year that you hear, if you're here for the typical four year time. You can really, really tell that I need to get my eyebrows done, but I'm starting to lose confidence that it's 20 things total for your time here. It might be less, it might be more. I don't know, but what I'm about to say still stands. But they're not boring, just like, oh, let's listen to this old professor talk about, I don't know, gluten they're actually super fun i so far have been to three and it was a presentation from david kirkpatrick who works with disney and with other stuff he's a producer a writer i can't remember right now but he came to promote his new book called dog so his presentation was literally about dogs and just how they've been in film for the past hundred years 
and it was so fun. I cried, I'm not kidding, I cried at least 20 times. They also had the theater performances, so the musicals and the plays, those can go towards your co-curricular. Even the Midnight Breakfast that I talked about, that's a co-curricular. You can literally get a point for eating. Perfect. So that's what I have for you all today. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like or a thumbs up, whatever you like to call it. If this video helped you in any way, make sure to comment it down below, whether you are going to Flagler or you're thinking of going to Flagler or you're accepted and you're trying to find out if you should go to Flagler. I think overall this college is amazing and it's great and I love it and I love going here and yeah, it's fun. Finally, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the post notification so you don't miss an upload of mine. And I don't have an outro, so I guess I'll just cut off right here.